Seems like every time that I order a microphone of some sort, something doesn't work out right. Either the microphone itself doesn't work, or more recently I had ordered one from Amazon, and they issued the return for it this morning without ever actually sending out the product. So, with that being said, it's been kind of tricky making videos that are actually outside of my car without there being a ton of background noise. So today we're going to try something a little bit different. I wanted to show you my everyday carry forward slash get home bag. And um, it's going to be a nightmare trying to go outside anywhere and take out everything and tell you what it is as I record the video. So what we're going to try to do instead is I'm going to just record me taking everything out and then doing a voiceover and hopefully it turns out okay. Um, odds are it'll be a disaster, but we're going to give it a try. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I recorded the intro at the park. Naturally, I have to show you some geese, so that's what you're looking at now. But anyways, the bag itself is the Victos Upscale Sling Bag. Of course, I got black because I'm not trying to stick out too much. Uh, you know, with like my uh, battle belt that I had and everything. It was all multicam and everything, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it, does, it, it just sticks out. I mean, we're, I guess it would be better to have multicam in the, uh, in the woods or something, but that's not what the point of this is. It is a everyday carry bag. As you can see, there's four pockets. Got one in the top, one kind of larger front pocket, a smaller front pocket, and then a, a really large kind of flat pocket at the very end. That's good for like a gun, which is actually what the ship ships with is a um, it ships with a kind of like holster more or less that you can Velcro in there. But in the top pocket, of course, I have some of my stickers. This is the pocket where. Um, I'll keep the stuff that I'll need every now and then, more so than, you know, the larger pockets. But, you know, I carry most of the stuff in my, uh, you know, actual pants pockets most of the time anyways. So this is kind of like a backup. I, I won't come into this pocket too terribly often. Got some chapstick and a lighter. Um, but it's good to have this kind of stuff just in case. What you're looking at now, this is the Surefire uh, Titan, Surefire Titan flashlight. It is a twist on type of light. The low setting, I believe, has, you know, 10 or 15 lumens. And the high setting is like 250, something like that. I'll, I'll find the package and or do some research and I'll put the numbers on the screen so you can see what's going on with that. Pretty nice light, especially for the money. I got it on clearance that works, so got a good price for it. Pack of gum, of course. Got some, uh, well, it's in a Tynol bottle, but it's actually ibuprofen you're about to see. Ibuprofen is like my miracle drug. I use it for everything. These are some batteries, and you're about to see what they are for. CR1-3N, or one-third in. Weird-ass batteries, and uh, these ones are made by Viridian. It's for my Streamlight TLR6. So, um, in case the batteries die on that, which, surprisingly, the battery life on this flashlight is pretty decent. You know, I don't have any complaints. Some AAA batteries, of course. That's for the, um, well, you're about to see, it's for the Titan flashlight. Um, I used to carry a Streamlight MicroStream as well on my po or in my pocket. It uh, just pocket clip kept bending and everything, so I decided not to carry it. Got some uh, duct tape, and this is actually the adjustment tool for my Hollow Sun 507K that I carry on my carry gun, or that I have on my carry gun rather. We got a uh, 1632 battery. This is also for the Hollow Sun 507K. Um, it didn't feel like pulling the gun out again to show you, but yeah, that's what that is. And then lastly, for that pocket, we have some good old electrical tape. Because same with the duct tape, you never know when you might need a little tape. So that's that first pocket. Now this uh, front pocket, this is where I keep all of the stuff that I'll actually be using the most. So name tag for work. Uh, like I said, I carry this gun every day. Um, got some ear pro because I wear the gun or wear the bag every day so even when I go to the range I'll have it on me along with some eye protection and um, you know working where I work you may actually need both of those just throughout the day anyways then I have a mask so I don't really wear this mask much um, I decided to stop using the reusable ones after I had gotten the virus so I switched to disposable um, I wore masks every day but even despite it I still got COVID so 
Um, I decided to switch to disposable. Here we have the LZ of Bravo. I've had this light for a while. Um, I think it's like 800 lumens, something like that. But on it, we have the Theorem switchback, which is supposed to allow you to shoot your firearm with your flashlight. And I don't know, it's kind of awkward to do it that way, but it's good to have it just for other reasons. Of course, got another uh, magazine for my 365 XL, um, loaded with some 138 grain Federal Centec hollow points, weird ass ammo, but you know, you got to use what you got when you're in COVID times and have limited choice for ammo. This is a Spyderco Delica 4. This was actually given to me by the owner of Spyderco, which was pretty sweet. Another perk of working at my work. Um, Spyderco is based out of Golden, Colorado, and I'm in Colorado. Not in Golden, though. So I have a pin, of course. Uh, well, I had a pin, of course. Um, never mind. Moving on. I was looking for kind of a small first aid kit to keep in this bag, and I found this Coleman one. I haven't even opened it up, opened it up but it looks pretty decent. Um, maybe I should open it up. That way I don't have to mess around with it when the time comes to actually use it. But that's what I keep in there just because it's small and handy. Then uh, I also have a couple space blankets just because, you know, being my uh, get home bag as well as my EDC bag, uh, might not be a terrible idea to have some of these in there in case you need to spend the night out in the woods or wherever. Oh, looks like I got three of them. But yeah, good to have. I mean, not like it takes up a lot of weight or anything or space for that matter. Next up, we got some of these, I think they call them like juice bars. It's basically like a fruit bar with a, an edible paper on it. But they're actually surprisingly good, I'll admit. I'm, I've, ha I've eaten a few of them because it comes in like a pack of six and two flavors. They're actually quite good, so. This is my, um, just, I'm not going to eat these per se, unless I have to. They're just like a backup kind of food source. Next up, got some mechanics gloves. These are the ones that have like a really kind of sticky palm on them for grip. And they're all right. I mean, I think, uh, I prefer thinner gloves, generally speaking, for shooting especially. But, you know, I'll take them. I already have them, so I'm not going to go out of my way to buy another pair of gloves just because I don't like those ones as much. This is the Sawyer Mini Water Filter. I have the uh, the little pouch with it along with the straw and, of course, the filter itself. So um, I, I thought it was a good idea to have some water procurement in my kit. Um, I don't have food procurement, per se, except for my gun. Um, but, say, if... Uh, you know, I, I run out of water that I have with me, then at the very least I'll have another way to get some of that because water is more important than food, really. I mean, I, I could throw something in there for food procurement, but I don't intend to be staying in the same place for very often. So I just don't see really what the point of getting something for food procurement is uh, for an EDC or get home bag. Next up, we got some cordage, two different types. So, um, I can stop struggling with it here. First off, we have just these little tiny bungees. And um, I'm sure I can find a pretty good use for them. Again, it's one of those things that doesn't take up any weight or space or anything. So you might as well throw it in there. And um, the uses for that could be pretty great. But say if I need something a little bit more practical, then I have some 750 paracord here. And this is um, from a company I believe called Tough Grid, which I bought from them a couple times before. This actually, uh, this 25 foot uh, section of it was actually sent to me for free, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that. Now looking at the next pocket, that's going to be the big main pocket. Well, I don't know if I'd call it the main pocket, but uh, the largest pocket. Um, obviously, you can open it from either side, so if you're right or left-handed. In here, I have my Condor hydration bladder. don't remember. I think it's called the Condor tor Torrent, something like that. But um, I keep a gallon jug of water in my car, so say if my car goes down or if there's an EMP or something and the car doesn't work and I need to get home from there, I have this guy in the bag that I can fill up and uh, get going. So it's a one and a, half, one and a half liter hydration bladder. And the reviews on this are kind of so-so, mm, 50-50. So, -so, so um, I might upgrade this eventually. Uh, I should probably actually test it out, which I haven't done yet. But I figured just for the intended purpose, like a once in a lifetime thing, 
um, where I might need it to get home. It's good enough. Now this is a North American Rescue uh, IFAC kit. It has a cat tourniquet, gloves, emergency bandage, and some S-rolled gauze in there. Um, it doesn't have a nasopharyngeal airway, which I would like to have in there. And it also does not have a chest seal, but I figure, you know, you can always use the package from the, uh, or the outer package as your um, chest seal. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Definitely check out the Patreon and some charities down below. And you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.